XRP has been ruled not a security. With that positive news for Ripple, the rest of the altcoin market has seen a lovely rise to the upside along with Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has seen a rise to the upside only to come up to our major level that we've been ready and waiting for and that is the daily off of the top of our range. After hitting this daily, we have obviously seen a little bit of a pullback to the downside. And then the question is, is this time really different? Are we just gonna see a rise for a subsequent large drop? Or actually, can we see some strength finally in the market? Is this news a catalyst for change and an increase, a sustained increase in price to come towards $40,000? In this video, I'll be telling you exactly how to be prepared for the scenarios and how I am trading this, so I can help guide you along the path of success. So let's get into what we love, and that is, of course, trading and our passion for technical analysis. I'm gonna pick up this video covering the past 24 hours of price action before I get onto where we are now and exactly how to be trading the next few weeks to come, what a big few weeks they will be. So over the past 24 hours, okay, really over the past week in total, I've been telling my team, not really that interested in any internal trades here. I'm actually gonna be waiting for a larger move, which would of course be a break of our range low or a break of our range high. And we got that break of the range high yesterday. And of course, for me, the overall range high there, coming in on that daily level, which we've had marked out, obviously in the group and on YouTube, talked and shown you this daily level, 31,756. I'm gonna give you a few insights from what I gave to my team yesterday, okay? And this is for the champion members. Uh, I was telling them as we were coming up internally, you know, we are hitting some levels here, but for me, there's no shorts to be had. The order flow remains bullish. I'm gonna remain looking for higher, okay? That's as we're coming in. We saw, you know, what some people in my group were asking me is, We've seen a swing failure pattern of an internal high. Is that a short trade? I'm telling them to my team, no, that is not a short trade entry for me. Am I still waiting for the overall highs? And the answer is yes, I am remaining looking for those overall highs, even though we've hit a daily, even then when we hit the NPOC, even then when we hit the CCV target of the day, for me, that was not a short trade entry. And specifically, I was asked about the swing failure pattern Okay, we'll have to come down to a lower term time frame, but there was this SFP that we saw on the chart here. And this is a level, okay, at the time where many are gonna think, oh, there's a swing failure pattern of a mini range high. Okay, that's a bit of a reaction and a pullback. And my, you know, clear as day answer is not a short trade entry for me. So that's at 5.30 after we had seen this decline in price. Not a short trade entry, not a significant reaction, and I am remaining looking for the overall highs. Okay, I actually want to explain for a few minutes here um, why even though we can have, for example, an NPOC, a daily, a in swing failure pattern internally, we can have all these levels marked out, right? But it's understanding all those levels and then knowing which to trade and which not to trade. And sometimes a bigger skill is knowing which ones not to trade, knowing what's a reaction, what's not a reaction, and how to correctly read the order flow to judge those reactions. I've actually got a special five minute clip here from in the time reaction on how that trade was progressing and as we hit those levels. This is from our new um, added feature to the champions membership package of the trade recaps. So this is as we come into levels, live analysis, thought process and taking trades in the time. Uh, so you can see how we're doing it, you know, in front of your eyes. Uh, so this is a one for myself yesterday. I'm not putting this one on the website because it was actually a reactionary trade of not taking a short as we hit those levels. And you're gonna gain a lot of insights about this of why I knew not to short the daily, knew not to short the NPOC. And as I remained looking for the overall highs to be taken. This is a five minute clip, so please pay attention. Listen to the insights and knowledge that I'll share with you within this. And this was live in the time as it was coming in yesterday. After this five minute clip, I'll be back with you to continue the analysis. So Bitcoin has been rising all morning and we've just come into the daily level. And uh, this is gonna be a live reasoning of why not to take the short trade at this level. Uh, so the reason for me is we've come into the daily, but when I look at the order flow, there's nothing bearish about this. As we can see the volume here on this rise is uh, on 5 million on the previous volume candle as we took the previous high. 
Last time at those highs was 4.6, 3.5 million. We are also now above the previous day VWAP and the PDEQ. So for me, this is breaching these levels on decent volume. Okay, we're not seeing any liquidations coming in yet. So on the wrecked, um, you know, this is where we see liquidation. So we're not seeing the liquidations at this level. We're seeing decent volume. Okay, um, so for me, based off of the order flow and for me, you know, just recognizing that we are currently seeing strength equals not shorting at the daily. Okay, so then for me, this is a level to level environment. So I've ruled out, as we can see, this is the one minute chart. We've literally just come into this level uh, as I started this video. So what do I do? I alert went off. The first thing I do after that alert went off is I checked the order flow. This order flow for me is not bearish. So that simply means to me no short at this level. Okay, so my next thought process would be obviously preferred scenario that I continue up to my next level, which would be this NPC here. From here, once again, I'll have an alert set and check the reaction. Okay, alternatively, we get a bit of a pullback here and that's fine. I would not jump into a short even if we got the pullback. For me, there is nothing bearish on the order flow. Again, on that pullback, I can continue to monitor this order flow to see if anything changes. But even if we get a pullback, I would still not class that as bearish while this order flow remains good okay or bullish um so yeah that just wanted to do this video to highlight the importance of have yes having levels marked out but that doesn't mean we trade every single level on the chart right because let's say we have 10 different dailies uh, 20 different naked point of controls it's, it's not realistic to trade every single one of those levels what we do is have our levels wait for the level to be hit check the order flow and for this i really like the order flow template of course as well as the day trading template as you can see when i trading above the view app two of the monthly so for me this is a very healthy rise support resistance flipping this monthly view app um back above you know some key levels and the context of the day is we also have a ccv setup today okay with higher targets too so next i'll be looking for that mpsc bigger target into the previous day value area high. This was a quick recap to show you why even when we hit a level doesn't mean I am going to be shorting it. Okay, so we'll see how this trade ends up, of course. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong by not shorting it. But for me, judging by the order flow, judging by the daily context, everything is looking good for higher prices to be tested next. In the end, we did have this move above, a bit above, back down below, still holding the higher low here and then obviously continuation to the upside. Uh, so for me, this is classed as a successful uh, non-short off of that high. Okay, why? Because even though there was the drop, okay, this was leading into a buying opportunity with the context, with the higher targets, had every reason um, to, you know, trade recap of not a trade per se because I didn't want to short that daily. I think that was a very, very difficult short. It obviously led in a bit of a pullback, creating the higher low. Okay, that could have been a very nice long opportunity, taking it up to where we're coming up to the final CCV target being the previous day value area high uh, above that NPOC. And you can just see how important it is as we continue the uptrend here. Okay, just look at this 37 million volume just before this rise. And that's the candle prior to the rise. So you can just see the volume, everything backed up here by what we were talking about. And that's reading the order flow. Um, reading price context market context understanding targets where prices come from where it's going towards probabilities order flow all comes together to give you really nice um, results and that's what you're here for and that is results and that is what you learn at chart champions so really nice to see this so from that clip, obviously, I was saying and explaining why I was not going to short the daily that we had. Of course, the NPOC itself had no reaction. And then we obviously came up to the overall range high. From this overall range high, we, of course, actually got a lovely reaction. This was now coming into the most important level that we've been ready and waiting for, that exact same daily level, 31.756. Okay, was I wrong to long? No, <laughs> uh, 31.756. And that got the reaction I was looking for. And I confirmed to my team, our major overall range high target now hit. It's formed a rejection. For me, this is yes. Now, finally, it is a valid short trade. So as I was telling my team, as we were coming up to the internal levels, no shorts for me. As we did get that range high, for me, yes, that is a valid short trade entry. 
Okay, so now we are starting to move on to what is happening next. So there's a few things that I'm aware of now. This daily is of course tapped. I can now remove this level from my charts. Boom, and it's gone. Okay, we are now gonna add on a few other significant levels on the chart. We can see we have a lot of levels. So again, when we have a lot of levels, it doesn't mean trade every single level. I'm not gonna be longing, 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 longing. No, what I will do is we'll wait for one of these levels to be hit. I'll come over here and I'll check the order flow. Within here, I'm looking at the HL, higher flow of the candles, the time, the trade counts, and mixing this with our volume delta, of course, and you know, looking how many people are getting wrecked on those candles. For me, this is reading the order flow, and that's how I make an informed decision. And on this case, I will know whether to long the dip or there's no significant bullish reaction, and I'll continue to look at trade it down to my next level to the downside. Of course, there's always the possibility that from here we wake our way upwards, and of course, I'm ready and waiting for that plan. Stop loss on this trade is already set. Uh, so if I get stopped out of that trade, you know, it's absolutely fine. As a trader, I'm aware that's a possibility. And I will look towards my next level, which is the zone. I wanna emphasize this is a zone, but we're looking at this zone of the key, which is our highs, Okay, from all the way back, actually a few months ago now, we're gonna be going back a very long time, uh, but all the way back from May 2022. So May 2022 is what we'll be looking back for there as an absolutely massive level on the chart, which for me have cleared, yeah, there's no reason why we can't be seeing levels such as $40,000. Um, but as always, you know, I'm not getting too excited, I'm not getting carried away. Yes, we can see, you know, levels such as uh, $40,000 coming into play. But at the same time, we absolutely have to be aware we have seen a valid short trade entry off of the rejection of the daily. You know, this is a reactionary trade that we're ready and waiting for. You see the reaction, you take the trade. If you missed this one, we had a retest of the CC here. So from high to low, retested the CC with a subsequent pullback here. Okay, so for me, this is now once again a time to remain patient. We'll wait for a pullback to around 30,800, okay, which is our first level of support. It's our range value area high. We have some decent confluence here. Uh, well, we'll make an informed decision. Do we get a really nice reaction and a long trade entry? Take profit one on the short. If that's the case, then we can look for a, something, you know, a continued move to the upside. Alternatively, there's no bullish reaction. We hold on to that short and we'll continue to trade it down lower. I want to remind you, although I do have this short from the rejection off of the daily, I still also have my long open from the low of the range. So this is the way I love to trade. I have my long open after we formed the SFP of the range low. I have now a short open from range high. I'm in a really nice position where if I am, you know, let's say I'm uh, incorrect and we just totally move up from here, which is fine for me, by the way, then I'll simply get stopped out of that short trade, very minuscule loss, and I'll let the long continue to run. Alternatively, we get no bullish reactions. We make our way down, make our way down, make our way down. I'll, of course, at some point get stopped out of that long, and I'll let the short run. So the way I love to trade is always a level-to-level -level environment, and I love to try and get myself into really advantageous positions of range low longs and range high shorts. I acknowledge and know <laughs> one of those trades will get stopped out because we will get a real breakout of this range at some point. As it stands, it's not happened. We've seen another, you know, kind of failed auction of the range high, okay? But I am aware that we have seen some very positive news. You know, it's undeniable that is a positive news specifically for Ripple, right? Um, uh, XRP. <laughs> and, you know, altcoins have also performed well off of that news. So is this a catalyst for Bitcoin? Uh, I'm not going to really comment on the news perspective. I'm a technical trader of the charts. I will know if it's a catalyst for Bitcoin if and when we break, which for me is the absolute key level of the, you know, the massive market structure change point. If we break above that, yeah, I'll close my shorts. <laughs> I'll look for $40,000. But until that happens, you know, I'm just going to play cautious. You know, I, I don't see any need for me to close that short, which is currently sat in profits and, and you know, I just don't see, see the need for doing that. For me, it's a very calm, collected state of mind, which is get into advantageous positions. That's looking for longs on a drop to support. It's looking for shorts on a rise to resistance. As I've shown you in that clip, sometimes we'll hit a level, gets no reaction, order flow remains bullish, and I'll look for higher levels to come. 
okay? And that is what you really need to learn if you wanna become successful in trading. You need to learn how to read the order flow. You need to learn what is a reaction. You know, you need to understand what is coming into a level and knowing not to short based off of the order flow and knowing what's coming into a level and getting a reaction to take the trade. You know, that's a very, you know, that will take time. That comes with time and experience. You know, you're not going to learn that in a few months. You know, maybe in a few years, you'll start to get that experience and intuition necessary to judge what is a reaction and what is not. But it will come. It will come. And then that's when you'll start to see massive changes and positive results inside of your trading. Until then, I would say, uh, you know, continue to study. <laughs> it's always a good time. Uh, obviously, I showed you a glimpse earlier of the trade recaps. This is our new section of the website, Re Hold Done Video Library. So now you have uh, this new, new brand new video library created for you. You've got the slider at the top with our new videos sorted into daily updates, contender sessions, champions, live trading, the dedicated altcoin live streams every single week. Okay, all in one place. And if you want to see all of them in chronological order, you can click on contender sessions and see them from new down to old. Of course, we've got the statistics recording. We've got the um, new scalping strategies. We've got the Elliott waves. And all of that, of course, is still with inside the whole course. So if you want to take advantage of that, you know where to do it. Chartchampions.com. Uh, final words to end. So here you are. You can see my face. I still got the smile as always. Uh, of course, I'm not doing as much videos on YouTube anymore. But that is because we're just putting a lot of our time and effort into the Champions membership. You know, this is where my full focus is right now. We're doing a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades. And, you know, just naturally that means I'm going to have less time for YouTube. But nevertheless, I hope that you can, um, you know, still gain some value when I do these YouTube videos. And of course, if you always want to see more of myself and the rest of the coaches and team who are doing an absolutely amazing job to say the least uh you know chartchampions.com i'm gonna wrap it up there i'm gonna say thank you ever so much great to see other people doing well alongside me keeping that faith small gains but definitely improving that's what you're aiming for you know those small gains you're gonna be getting more clarity more knowledge more insights and it's all gonna start putting together those pieces of the puzzles and making complete sense thank you ever so much champs love you all and uh you know I'm ready and waiting for the bigger break of this range. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. It's me signing out. Goodbye.